Hi guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. We're going to go on with this uh, comedy clips. Right now we're going to do a comedy clip. Well, you've seen the title. Dave Chappelle explains why Planet of the Apes is racist uh, from Conan Show. Doing this clip because, you know, it was uh, I was out looking around and this one popped up and I'm very curious is why Planet of the Apes is racist. So... We're going to let Dave Chappelle tell us, or tell me. And I figured, well, since I'm going to watch it, I might as well record it, because some people like Dave Chappelle. Many people like Dave Chappelle. He's a pretty funny guy. Let's just find out why the Planet of the Apes is racist. I'm curious if that's the original movies or the newer movies. I haven't seen newer movies, just the original ones. Uh, I don't know. We must be talking about the older ones. Uh, let's watch. How are you? I'm great, Things man. Are, you're great. You're doing fantastic. It's just amazing. Yeah, First of I'm, all. I'm blown away by what's happened to me this summer. It's, it's been incredible. Yeah, and I don't want to embarrass you, but that's part of my job. You made this deal everybody's been talking about, and no one deserves this more than you. Sometimes people oh, in man. show business make these deals, and you think, that's scum. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Eric Estrada, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm after Estrada. Um, he's getting away with murder. But no, but but you made this deal, Comedy Central, huge deal, $50 million deal. Everybody's talking about it. What are you going to do with that money? How has this changed your life? Nothing's changed, man. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a hundred grand on leather pants. <laughs> <laughs> but you were probably doing that before. I mean, yeah, it's, it's all the same. I've, I've been giraffe shopping with the Jacksons. <laughs> but other than that, I, it's just it's the usual stuff. It's just that my old friends aren't in the giraffes like I am now. Right. They, don't, they right. can't keep up with me. They can't keep up with you. It's just a difference. What about offers to do movies? You know, I mean, I know you've done movie work before, but now you're this hot. The phone's got to be ringing off the hook. Yeah, it's funny, because before I wasn't getting any movie offers and now they I get a lot of offers for like bad movies mm -hmm. like those those uh Planet of the Apes type roles <laughs> what? What? he saw that movie Planet of the Apes with Mark Wahlberg the remake yeah. yeah the remake well yeah they're both racist to me man like <laughs> the first one was like was like you know just get your damn dirty ape hands off me I'm like oh come on what are you really talking about <laughs> or like, <laughs> or like <laughs> And then I see the new one, I'm thinking, this is a more progressive time. This will not be as racist. And then they had the, the apes was sitting at dinner. Yeah, I'm not even making this up. They was eating watermelon. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so the apes was eating watermelon. Uh -huh. And then, like, later on in the movie, they're running from the apes and, like, running the water because the apes can't swim. Which <laughs> <laughs> is like, oh, word. But see, these apes can talk, and, but they can't swim. And then uh, at the end, it's like, when I seen the ape smoking a Newport, I just got up and... <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that enough? It was ugly. Yeah, you're right. That's not good. That's another thing that's changed since I made all this money. I stopped smoking uh, menthol. There you go. <laughs> I didn't stop smoking, but I... You know, I don't smoke anything that they market to black people. Really? That's where the poison is, as mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> can't make it that easy, baby. I, I keep them confused. I, I'll smoke stuff like Virginia Slims. I look at the box like, nobody's gonna hurt this white woman. Give me two packs of Virginia Slims. It's not right. You know, you know, I just, smoking is bad, everybody. Kids, if you're watching, don't smoke. But it's pretty funny to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I don't want to pry, but, but uh, I'm gonna take a shot at this. Who are you gonna vote for in this election? It was funny. I was really into Carrie. Mm -hmm. Then when I got all this money, I was, now I'm, Bush is looking a little better now that I got this money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm poor. It changes. I mean, I'm black. <laughs> I'm black, yet I'm rich now. So I just got all the feelings I have inside. I don't know. <laughs> What are you going to do? Which one of these white people going to take care of me? <laughs> You're gonna be in that voting booth with your Virginia Slims, <laughs> thinking about it. And my leather pants and ascot. <laughs> Giraffe's gonna lean in. Hurry up! Let's go! 
Now, are you going to be a charitable person now? Is this going to, you know, and maybe you were before, but do you think you're going to try and help the people around you? Well, since I've joined the Republican Party, no, I'm not. They'll take care of themselves. Nah, man, I'm, I, yeah, I'm pretty charitable. There was, matter of fact, there was a guy that used to live in front. I, and he wasn't even, I shouldn't say lived. He was homeless, obviously homeless. He used to stand in front of my apartment. And one night I was coming home from shooting late, and I saw him. It was cold out. He's shivering. I, so I just gave him $20, which is something I didn't even think about. Just get something to eat, man, whatever. And he was so grateful. I'll never forget. He was just like, thank you, brother. This means a lot. I'll never forget you. And people say that all the time. This guy never forgot. As a matter of fact, he came to my house every day after that. <laughs> Knocking on the door, he's like, come on, man, I just need some money. I can get something to eat. And he's shivering. I'm like, come on, dog, it's July, for real. What you, what you want? <laughs> he's like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, please. So he's hungry. I'm not going to turn away a hungry person. And I'm like, well, what, what are you trying to eat? He's like, what? Uh, a burger. I'm, I need a burger. But I'm like, I need... More information. Do you want cheese on it? Do you want fries? Different burgers cost different amounts, right? I need to know mm -hmm. how much money to mm -hmm. give you. He's like, I want some crack, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I want some crack. <laughs> Maybe some fries too, but mostly crack. You were wasting the guy's time. He yeah. had business to do. <laughs> I felt bad. But then I'd see him and I'd try to like encourage him, like, you know, when I'm coming out. He's like, you can beat that crack. And I guess that's like an annoying thing to say to a crack addict because he's just like, all right. <laughs> it's been done. Thank you very much for that encouraging word. Until you mentioned it, it never occurred to me. <laughs> now, I can't believe this, but you were invited to go to the Republican convention. That's true? Well, not, no, kind of. What happened was I was doing that Anderson Cooper show. Right. So Anderson was tied up at the convention. He's like, can we come interview you on the floor at the Republican convention, which is too much attention for me. I mean, <laughs> any black dude that walks in there is going to have a million cameras on. If Bigfoot walked in at the same time, they'd be like, Bigfoot's so Dave Chappelle! At the <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot is taking a seat with the Colorado de delegation. And Dave Chappelle's a black person at the convention. <laughs> Now, how are your, and again, this is about your life, but, but uh, I know you got, you got two boys. Yeah, man. These Did guys. I just you, you look like I just reminded you. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. guys, man. <laughs> I hope y'all are watching. Y'all should be asleep. But, uh. How are they? How are, how are they doing? They're great. My, my oldest son just finished his first year of school. I, if you want to call it school, I mean, he's like four. So right. I don't even know what they're learning. I went to one of, you know, those parent-teacher conferences, which I was nervous, because if they say anything less than he's incredible, then I'll be, I'm, I'll get mad. So, uh, but she was like giving me his report card, like his running is great. <laughs> his, his jumping is incredible. Yes. She goes through all the litany, she goes, but um, he needs to learn how to use his words more. So I'm like, what does that mean, use words? She said, well, like at nap time, if someone's sleeping on his mat, he should come tell me and not kick that person. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what you think, I'm raising a snitch? Kick him, son. Kick him. doing the right thing. That's right. I'm trying to get him to keep it real, you know. <laughs> Keep it real. Yeah, man. I don't Good. want no son to come telling everybody to do something. Just kick him. Kick him. <laughs> kick him hard. Yeah, he'll move. He'll move. Just kick him. <laughs> All right. Well, Dave Chappelle, right. for what it's uh -huh. worth, premieres Saturday night at 9 on uh, Showtime. And uh, you know what? No one deserves all the success. Man, uh, more than this guy right here. Dave Chappelle. Keep going. Uh, Rose Byrne. Coming up, we'll take a break. Okay, so that was Dave Chappelle explains why the Planet of the Apes is racist. It was the uh, newer remake, which, which I really haven't seen. And I've never seen the older ones there when I was young. Uh, they didn't seem any particular racist, but what do I know? So it was pretty funny. Dave Chappelle is always a funny guy. Um, <laughs> so thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked it. Go to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications and pass the video around. So, we'll see you in the next one.
Have a nice day.